All right, guys, welcome back. I um, want to get another video about, out to you guys. Uh, been looking through some tools and picked up a new one uh, just recently. It's actually a new model that's out, uh, or at least relatively new to the market. Um, but as you can see here, I've got a, I've got a range of stubbies. Um, I think stubbies have become quite useful, and I actually like that there's more manufacturers working more towards stubbies. But stubbies that aren't just limited to um, a traditional small stubby. Uh, that doesn't have a ratcheting uh, function or it doesn't have interchangeable bits. Uh, this gambit, and this is just some of the ones I have in my toolbox, these are nice because they give you more flexibility uh, when performing a job at hand. So the one I want to talk about is actually just in front of you here. It is the Milwaukee 4822-299. And it is uh, this Milwaukee quarter inch drive. And it's an eight and one. So, uh, and we'll dive in, in there, but it comes with these fittings. Might as well show you them here now, or, or these bits. You have the Phillips number two, number one, the quarter inch, three sixteenths. Uh, obviously, they count the, uh, the nut driver as the quarter inch if you need to. I don't know too many people who actually use that for that, but you can. Uh, it comes with, oddly enough, just a single Torx number 15 and the square two and square one bits. So we'll take a look at that. Um, on the back, worth noting, uh, I do appreciate tools uh, where they're manufactured. And in the case of this one, I do prefer Taiwanese built uh, tools over, say, Chinese <clears throat> or some other areas. But that is a nice added benefit, too, because the tolerances seem to be better uh, traditionally. And just the overall quality and build is better. So let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, here it is, the Milwaukee. And, I mean, first glance, it's kind of an in-between stubby. It's not ex ex exceedingly short as far as stubbies go. I mean, we could use this Klein as an example, right? That's a little bit shorter. Um, it is... It is nice in that it's it's got plastic, right? It's a plastic grip, but it's also got this rubber overmolding here, which is fairly pliable. You actually see it with my fingernail here, how pliable that is. So in the hand, I'd say it's pretty decent. It is almost perfectly round, which which isn't bad, but it isn't great. It does have these indentations in it that actually help to, to grip. Right, as you're going around, and your fingers can grip on here as well. Okay, I suppose you guys should put a very large uh, end wrench on this as well if you wanted to really torque down. Uh, as far as the bit goes, it's fairly short. I mean, we're looking at uh, that's about an inch, almost two inches, just shy of two inches in length from uh, end to end. Here's your Phillips number two. It fits in there nicely. It is magnetic, it's retention. You can see inside there. Medic is, I would say, fairly strong. I'd say on the stronger end. The Milwaukee here is actually, oh, I almost feel silk screen, but maybe it's laser etched. That's a very dark laser etch. If it's a laser etch, it might be laser etched. And then likewise, inside of the tool, that is also magnetic. So on all, on all fit and finish, Pretty good. I mean, it's, it's to be noted that there's going to be a little bit of play in the shaft when you get something like this, right? A, an interchangeable bit holder. So, not too terrible. Also, worth noting, I didn't notice that till right now, but you can see the part number is actually stamped into the rubber uh, the rubber overmolding, which is nice. And then, as, of course, on the back, the 8-in-1. Now, this does spin, and I do like that. I don't know how effective it is on this, as it's so short and stubby, but as you can see in my hand, it gives you the ability to hold it and push and rotate. Now, as you do put pressure on it, it does it does kind of act like a brake. So I would say if you're looking for a quick spin, it's not super easy to spin, but you could do a quick spin as you're tightening and loosening. Yeah, you could leave a little bit of pressure on there as you're going. So as you release, spin. Titan spin. So, it is actually a slightly nice benefit. Yeah, I said that's definitely a positive to the screwdriver. 
Now, uh, the nice little feature to this as well is in the back here, as you pull it apart, there's your, your tool carousel, right? You got eight bits inside there. Um, it comes up nicely. Doesn't feel like it's going to come apart, so that's actually nice. And you can see each one of your bits that we just mentioned, the torques, the square, square one, square two, three sixteenths flat, and a quarter inch flat. So they all fit inside there. That spins freely. Seems like retention. Pretty fair. Yeah, it holds it in there. It doesn't want to go anywhere. Pressing it. I did notice this earlier. It actually is a nice, it almost has a hydraulic feel. Right, kind of like your lift gate on your car. As you press in, it can build some resistance. And here it gets a little harder, harder. It kind of clicks. Maybe you could hear that. Let's try that again. It actually clicks when it gets to the bottom. So something there is actually helping it to re retain fully seated. But as far as functionality, I mean, it might be nice to see this in a ratcheting a version. Uh, as well i think that would be beneficial maybe something similar to the SATA here right it's got a small ratcheting function built into it uh, that would that would be a nice version to see as well and who knows maybe by the time they'll put one out there but all in all guys it works great you can use all your quarter inch bit drivers and i'll say this too right you had something like this on it you could definitely quickly turn it into a nice long screwdriver so uh you know, more and more, I am enjoying, and this is kind of obviously taking it to to an extended limit, but the versatility uh, of something like this, a stubby, is once you have the stubby figured out, the sky is the limit as far as how long you need to get into tight places, All right? You have the ability to lengthen this shortness based on whatever quarter inch drive um, bits, extensions, uh, if, I mean, ratcheting, uh, drivers, whatever you want to put on the end of here, you have a lot of options. So if you start with the stubby, you can grow it as large as you like. I mean, as long as you get a good grip, guys, as long as it has a good grip, a good functionality, then you have a lot of flexibility with something like this. So, um, which is probably why we're seeing more and more of them on the marketplace. But all in all, I think, you know, fairly cheap. Find this over at Home Depot. I, I believe this one was under 20 bucks easily. Um, but it's nice. It's a very nice little tool. And I would say, you know, I don't know if I give it a 10, but I mean, it's up there. It's probably a functionality to, you know, seven or eight, maybe even higher. So uh, if you're looking for something of this size, go check it out, guys. All right. Thanks for watching.